Welcome back. We are now joined by Sports Information Director Clark Tusher. Clark, thanks for stopping by. It's good to be here. The uh, women's cross country team jumps 10 spots to number 24 in the national poll. What attributed to that ascend in the rankings? Oh, well, they ran faster. Uh, they went up to <laughs> they went up to uh, the Oshkosh Invitational this past weekend and uh, finished ninth out of a field of almost 40 teams, uh, many of which were nationally ranked. Uh, some teams that they hadn't beaten before. Um, you know, they had a couple of uh, individuals that they sat out uh, just uh, precautionary reasons, uh, just some minor bumps and bruises and things. So uh, to have been able to put together a performance like that on the course where they're going to be holding the national championships next month certainly said a lot about where they are as a team. Chris Dakota comes through with uh, CCIW Runner of the Week. Seems like every week there's somebody on that team we can talk about for those accolades. Uh, yeah, Krista's been running well all season. She's actually more of an 800 meter runner during the track season and hasn't been, you know, somebody who really uh, puts in a lot of uh, heavy miles during training, but she certainly has been able to step up this season and, uh, and take on the longer distances a little better. And for the third time this season, Matt Perez earned CCIW honors for the men. He just has been running lights out, it seems, this year. He's been running as well as anybody in Division Three. Uh, week after week, he's been able to put it together strong performances against tough fields and, and been placing highly and running uh, very consistently. And, and it has a lot to do with you know how he's approached his training every day. He's been consistent. He's been, you know, with the with the effort and performance he's put it together in practice, it's paying off for him on race day. And the men maintain their number one ranking in not only the region but the nation. Is there anything that can stop these guys at the CCIW championships in two weeks? Well, they're going to have to race to win it. Uh, that's uh, certainly no question. Uh, Wheaton placed third at the Oshkosh Invitational and uh, jumped up several spots in the national rankings. So it's a team that they're, they're going to expect to be uh, contended with uh, at the conference meet. And Augustana always has a top, uh, top 20 level of program. So, you know, that's not going to be a cakewalk uh, by any means, but it's certainly uh, a good situation to be in uh, being the favorite going in. Moving on to men's soccer, the men's team gets their second tie in three conference games in a double overtime battle pretty much. How close are they playing these games right now? Well, this one definitely felt differently than the one the previous week. You know, they gave up a penalty kick against Illinois Wesleyan and, and had to take a tie there. This time it was up against a, a team in Wheaton that's a, a perennial playoff participant in Division Three and uh, on the road at Wheaton's place, uh, you know, a big Saturday night contest. So. To be able to come away with a tie there felt like more of an accomplishment than the previous one. But uh, you know they also had a game against Elmhurst on Wednesday that was decided by one goal. So um, you know it's it's been very very close between a lot of the different yeah. teams. So uh, there's you know three more conference games. So they're going to have to find a way to gain an edge uh, to get to where they want to go with the conference playoffs. How important is is it for them to get a win in one of those last three games? Uh, they're looking at the way the the whole conference is made up right now. They're probably going to have to get two wins out of those final three contests, uh, and two of those on the are on the road. So uh, certainly, uh, you know, some some things to tighten up and and improve upon as they head into the last couple of weeks here. Moving inside, the women's volleyball team had a nice showing on their home court uh, this past weekend. Yeah, they hosted the uh, Tiffany Robinson Memorial Tournament. This is the tenth year that they've hosted that. Um, you know, they won three out of four matches, including a three to one victory over. Uh, the 23rd ranked team in the University of Wisconsin Whitewater which uh, was the only ranked team in the competition and that might have been the easiest win that they had of the three that they put together over the weekend. Uh, so certainly uh, some players coming of age there and, and, and getting together and you know some more, more clearly defined roles on that team and uh, they've got about three weeks left in the season so we'll see if they're able to carry that forward. Clark thanks for joining us. Thank you Mark. That's all the time we have for this week's Red Zone. The Cardinals have a big matchup on Saturday against the Titans of Illinois Wesleyan. Kickoff is set for 1.30. The Red Zone will be there. We hope you will too. I'm Mark Dahlquist. See you right back here next week on the Red Zone. <laughs>